staff of the New Times Corporation are embarking on a second day of demonstration with the hope of preventing the managing director, Carol Lannan, from entering the premises. The demonstrators clad in red are drumming and chanting in front of the New Times Corporation. Police had been deployed to the scene. Uh, Matilda Wemega joins us live from New Times Corporation. Matilda, if you can hear me, what's the situation at the New Times Corporation now? So, Daniel, as you can see, I'm currently at the premises of the New Times Corporation, uh, where I was able to gain access, but in front are the uh, premises of the, uh, the, the the company. There's a bold inscription saying that no no board member should be allowed uh, to access into the main compound. But I'm currently here in the compound where there's a heavy police presence here, where we've been interacting with some of the uh, the union leaders who have been telling me uh, this action is going to continue unabated. But majority of the workers are currently at their decks, are currently at their decks uh, ensuring that uh, work is not brought to a halt, uh, unlike what happened yesterday. Uh, but this morning, uh, there's been a, a little bit of a uh, drumming here uh, by some of the workers here where I've been told that these workers are not really part of uh, those uh in line with the daily activities here but I told you that the, the director of the the commander for the rapid deployment team has also been here and has been meeting with leadership of uh, the union here and interaction in the I, I am getting is that uh, the workers have been told to return to their desk uh, but I'll be interacting with the uh, chairperson for the PWSU who uh, PMCU PMSU, who is here with me, Diane Busutu, find out from her what exactly has been happening behind the scenes because Matilda, we were not given access to the meeting that they held with the police. Yeah. Uh, Matilda, before you Daniel, move, I can hear you. Yeah, before you move to the union leader, has the managing director been to the premises this morning? Yeah. No, she is yet to report. She's yet to report uh, right. this morning at the, the office. Right, go ahead. But I have with me uh, Diane Busu. Uh, she is going to tell me exactly what uh, the meeting has been this morning. Um, the rapid, uh, okay, the police, let's refer them. The Ghana police are here to ensure that there's peace and order and that uh, life and property are protected. That's why the police is here. Mm. Uh, but, but this morning, before the police even came in, I saw a few of the workers here at the premises who have been drumming a bit of agitation in there. What exactly has been the outcome of uh, yesterday's protest? Yeah, those you saw this morning uh, drumming are staff who close for the night mm. and so they, ha they, ha they it has no effect on daily activities i know it's been difficult for us to get access into the new room and the equipment room and but tell us the situation are people at work today people are at work and uh, will come out tomorrow mm. we'll I, the new stand. okay uh, already at the entrance i see a board inscription that no board member is allowed yesterday the board issued a statement uh, condemning this action by the workers how far has that gone I think what the board, the press release, the board issue, I think uh, is unfair to workers in general and not the union. We, if there's any, if I, if I swift issue any interview to anyone, I issue it on behalf of workers, not on my own or the union. We are speaking for workers, and I'm not speaking to anybody on my own behalf. And so, if the board really knew their position as the hierarchy of New Times Corporation states clearly that they are the topmost managers or owners of this place. I, we would have urged that they should have been here at the time of the peak of it to talk to workers and even listen to our grievances. Mm. We never saw them around. Wherever they went and sat and wrote that uh, press release, we don't know. But I think the press release was harsh to workers. Mm. Uh, the press release was harsh to workers. But also, let me let me get some information. Uh, we know that uh, Carol Nanan is supposed to be at work today. Are you going to allow her in? Because I see the inscription outside. Are you going to allow her in? Uh, we will not allow uh, the former MD inside. She's a visitor. And to us, because somebody is, you are working with someone and someone... Why do you describe, before you even go on, why do you describe her as the former MD? For as long as I know, she's still the MD of New Times. She's the former, we describe her as the former MD because 
um, we, the majority, the workforce, are saying we cannot work with her. And she can't come and represent herself as the managing director over the workforce. Mm. But it is not in the place of the union to call a former because you do not take that decision. It's supposed to come from government. And so that is done. You can't describe her as a former MD. The government knows that the former MD is working with staff and the staff make up the body. When you take the hierarchy, staff is not eliminated. And so we are more or less also owner of the company. Mm. Can you confirm to us information we are picking that uh, the board, the board has been dissolved? The board has, that was the information we got yesterday, that the board has been dissolved. And if the board has been dissolved, uh, the former MD is part of them and she's also been dissolved. Mm. So and to what exactly is going to take workers uh, for peace to be restored here at the premises of New Times Corporation? Yeah, there have been peace and this morning there was peace. It was a, a peaceful kind of protest. And those who are not supposed to be at post were only doing their own thing, just to ensure that the public continue to hear of us and also to ensure that send the signal that workers are not ready to work with the former MD. Mm. So what would take all of you, uh, I know you're already working, but what exactly will resolve all these issues? We are expecting the media commission to come in and we are expecting the sector minister to come in. I think at the moment... Have you heard any word from them? Uh, we know they are all meeting and we know they'll come, definitely come on air and take a decision. Okay, so... Uh, but, um, our leadership, everything is in the hand of our leadership. They are doing the connection, they are communicating with these bodies to ensure that the right information is sent to workers in Ghana at large. Okay, so uh, Daniel, if you can hear me uh, well, uh, Daniel in the yeah. studio, let me first give you a wrap of what she has been saying. That uh, She is saying that uh, for now they are back at the decks working, hoping that uh, the National Media Commission and government, will, there will be something positive coming out from them this morning. Uh, but we understand they are also in a crunch meeting as we speak. But for them, the only thing Thing that would take them for peace to be restored here at the New Times Corporation is for the confirmation of the word that indeed the current board has been dissolved. Uh, so we've been coming to you live here from the New Times Corporation here in Accra. Daniel. Thank you very much, Matilda, when we got giving us that report and that interview there. And just to inform the listeners, what we have picked from the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union is that um, they are involved in that meeting with the National Media Commission and the General Secretary Solomon Kote will be making a presentation on this matter to um, the Commission. So we are looking to move this story forward and find out more from what is happening there as we speak. <music>